Hi guys, Smooth and Copper here, and today we're taking, it's the 4th of July, so we don't have too much time because we have a lot going on later. Today we're going to be taking, um, we're here at the Edward McDowell Lake Trail in Dublin, New Hampshire, and first time here, so we're going to be taking a short hike through the woods and checking it out, and it follows along New Manuset Brook, so it ought to be um, a pretty nice little hike. So without any further ado, let's head out. Hi, Copper. A nice diamond blaze. A nice area. Dabbling brook. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Gotta be careful I don't fall in. I'm walking right near the edge. So I want to get a shot of this bridge over here. <clears throat> that is awesome. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Ready to go? Looks like it's a little wet approaching the bridge, but that's okay. Not too bad. Copper's raring to go this morning. I'm not sure what that book is, but I think this one coming in is the New Benusset book. Which eventually goes to the Blood Hill Pike area and into Harrisville Pond.
coming, buddy. You know I'm a slow boat. This is pretty nice here. Okay, go on, buddy. It's a little wet, but that's okay. That's a cool little overhang boulder. Check that out. Hey, look at that. That's neat. Hi, oh, buddy. Oh, I think the trail goes over here, buddy. The blow down. <clears throat> so this is nice. It falls the brook. I think the faded map at the kiosk, kiosk said uh, it looked like it was about a half a mile. The trail went to about a half a mile in, so maybe three quarters. It was hard to gauge because it was a pretty faded map. Oh, I go this way, buddy. Oh, copper found a tree to possibly debark. We don't have much time, buddy, so we better get moving. No time for debarking trees today. Awesome. Oh, there is some, uh, old stonework here. Looks like there was a dam here at one time. And some huge boulders. We're going to have to go check these out, buddy. If I can hold my coffee, the camera, and uh, navigate these boulders without falling and breaking my neck. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Remnants of an old dam. on the side there. Oops. And then over across, uh, in through there. This is awesome, what a find. Another place close to, close to home that I didn't really know was here. I just happened to be driving by the, the other day on Route 137 and I saw an old, uh, a kiosk and so I stopped and took, took a look at it and decided to come back. Oh, and this is all... Uh, the waterway and trail are all owned and controlled by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers because uh, they, they regulate the Edward McDowell Dam. There's a 
pulled up there. And the babbling brook turned into a raging river. We did get some rain earlier this week, so there's plenty of water here. All right, moving on. This trail has some nice blazing, and it's well, well worn, so it's pretty easy. Nice and flat. And we have the trail to ourselves. It's a really nice overcast morning. Nice and cool. Hi buddy. This is really nice. Tons of hemlock trees. We are like in the hemlock forest. <laughs> oh. Copper's over there doing his duty. Nature calls. All right, see you in a bit. Now that is a huge chunk of foam, <laughs> which all the foam is caused by uh, decomposing um, organic matter like leaves and pine needles and stuff like that. And um, there you have it. It also gives the the river the uh, uh, the rusty brown brown tint to the water. It's all natural foam. That thing looks like the blob. Alright. Looks like uh, the flow of the water is slowing down a little bit and widening out down there into like a marshy area. So, we'll be seeing you there in a minute. Salamander. Hi guy, how you doing? Oh, Copper found a potential victim of a tree to debark. What do you think, buddy? Alright. Are you going back? Come on. Come on, there's nothing in there. Let's go. Silly dog. Huh. You silly dog. Nice. See how the brook widens right out into this marsh. Beautiful. Nice place 
place for a while, but... Hi buddy, let's go. So far this trail is com completely flat, so this is perfect for somebody that just wants to go out for a nature walk. And though it is a little on the wet side, but you got to expect that following a brook. And what do we have here? Some mud, you like that, huh, buddy? The bog bridge is a little out of date, but I can maneuver through it. Copper, look at that right there. Oh, he wasn't interested in that one. It's already been debarked. Well, I take that back. There's a slight incline here through this uh, pine forest. Hemlocks, mostly, actually. I think there's a couple pines mixed in. But what a nice area. Up there, so the trail forks off. And I, I had a hard time reading that kiosk. Kiosk. <laughs> kiosk. Kiosk. You say tomato, I say tomato. So, but we're going to stay on the trail that follows the wetlands. A little bit of contour here, but it's very, very easy. No strain at all. There's another ginormous boulder down there. Awesome. Okay. There is a little bit of a steep area here. But it's easy walking, so, and it looks short-lived. So, overall, the hike is still relatively flat. Yeah, that was nothing. Just a little hill. More of the same, but very nice. What'd you find, buddy? What's in there? 
Oh, there he goes again with the bark. <laughs> Come on, buddy. We don't have an hour to kill. <laughs> Make it quick. What's in there? Watch out, it doesn't come down on your head. What's in there, buddy? Okay, let's go, buddy. Come on, copper. in there, huh? Oh, it's an old, uh, I think it's a sugar maple. Oh, my camera's fogging up. <laughs> Looks like we're coming across a brook up here. What do you think? Is it safe? Okay. Okay, let's go, buddy. Oh, look at that awesome boulder copper. Look at all the moss. That's really cool. What's down there? Go over there. Come on. Wait. The bog bridge, huh? That's a nice one. Nice. The marsh is starting to open up into the open water, into the pond. We're going to take a little jaunt down here and check it out. Wow, I wonder if that's, that might be Skatutiki Mountain over there. But I won't be able to see it in my camera. Right up there, I think that might be Skatutiki Mountain. Looking back towards Harrisville and Hancock. Cool. And I hear some ducks over here. And I was wrong about that half mile on the kiosk. <laughs> I think uh, we've already gone a little over a mile. I'm gonna guess. Oh, this is nice. Tick city, no doubt.
I'll have to check ourselves when we get back. Very nice. It's a beach or something over there. I wish I had Joe's camera. I could zoom right in on that. I'm sure it's blurry with this thing. But this is a nice area. And like I said before, I think that's Skatutiki Mountain up there. I could be wrong, but seems like it's in the right spot. Okay, we're going to go on a little bit farther before we have to turn around. We're kind of under, under a time crunch this morning. We have places to go and people to see, so um, we'll uh, see you in a bit. So I found this huge cable over here on this boulder. I'm not sure what it was for, but... Oh yeah, it goes way down there. Well, that's a big cable. As you can see, that's got to be over an inch in diameter. Hi oh, buddy. It looks like there's something down there. I see like kayaks or something. So we're going to keep following the trail and see what Aha! So now I know what that cable went to. The dam. And we're at it. So I just want to show you that sign. We'll be heading back the same way we came. Awesome. Let me get a picture of that on the fourth. American flag. Old glory. And there's the dam. Edward McDowell Dam. So this is nice. They supply trash bags. <laughs> we don't need one because we're always prepared to take carry in and carry out. And there's a nice uh, facilities here. Copper, you can't go in there. Very nice. This is a nice area, well maintained. Hats off to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Stephen Sawyer. Music notes and a crane. Wow. Apparently, he played the harmonica. <laughs> Apparently, he played the harmonica and was a crane operator and maybe was instrumental in the building of this dam. I'm gathering. Pretty cool memorial to him. Come on, boy. nice here. Wow, I'm so glad I stumbled across that um, trailhead a couple days ago when I was just driving by. I'm glad I stopped. This is a nice spot. A couple geese down there. 
Sorry, Joey. I don't have your camera, but I don't know if you can see him or not. I wish I did have your camera. I'm going to have to get me a nice camera. Anyway. Okay. And it looks like the uh, headquarters of the Corps of Engineers is down that way. Oh, and hey, Joey, a blue heron just flew over, but I didn't quite get him. No, you can't go out there. Okay, this is gated, but I want to show you the gate tower of the dam. There you go. Edward McDowell Dam. Awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. We're going to... Uh, meander around a couple more minutes and then head back because we got places to go to. All right, happy 4th of July, people. This is Smooth and Copper saying we'll see you next time. Woof.